Kung ikaw ay bago at nagustuhan mo ang aking video o napadaan ka lang, maaari mong i-click ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para ma-update ka sa aking channel. Thank you for watching! Good day class! How are you today? I hope you are doing great. Welcome to our video lesson in TA10 Cookery. For today's video, we are going to discuss the first module for our first quarter with the learning outcome Perform Mise en Place. After going through this video lesson, you are expected to Identify an egg's component and its nutritive value. Identify and prepare ingredients according to standard recipes. In cookery, egg refers to poultry or fowl products. The versatility of egg is evident in its presence in numerous food items. Can you name some food items that uses eggs? Very good! Eggs also can be eaten and cooked in its shell, fried or poached, or may be combined with other ingredients to produce another dish. With the versatility of eggs, it is indeed a convenient food for any meal in and out of house. Let us now discuss the physical structure and composition of egg. Normally, we distinguish egg into three parts, the shell, the egg white, and the egg yolk. But if we try to closely scrutinize it, it will reveal more detailed components. The composition of eggs, shell, thin albumin, Chalaza, thick albumin, germinal disc, vitilin yolk membrane, yolk, chalaza, inner membrane, outer membrane, air cell. Shell, the egg's outer covering. It is about 9 to 12% of the total weight depending on egg size. The inner thin white is a fluid layer located next to the yolk. Chalasa. This is the ropey strands of egg white at both sides of the egg, which anchor the yolk in place in the center of the thick white. Thick albumin. The major source of egg riboflavin and protein. Germinal disc. This is the entrance of the latebra, the channel leading to the center of the yolk. The vitellin membrane is the weakest at the germinal disc and tends to become more fragile as the egg ages. Yolk. The yolk or the yellow to yellow-orange portion makes about 33% of the liquid weight of the egg. The inner membrane sticks to the albumin, while the outer membrane sticks to the shell. Air cell, this is the empty space between the white and shell at the large end of the egg. Nutritive value of egg. Egg contains high-quality or complete protein with essential amino acids. Source of energy, about 75 calories in large supplies. Vitamin A, Vitamin B complex, Vitamin D, and Vitamin E. Minerals such as phosphorus, zinc, and folate. Folate, which is important for the prevention of birth defects and heart disease for the elderly. Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. Lutein, which reduces cataracts. 
Egg quality Egg quality has two general components, shell quality or exterior quality and interior egg quality. Exterior quality is based on shell cleanliness, soundness, texture, and shape, while the interior quality is based on the relative viscosity of the egg white, no presence of foreign matters in the egg white, shape and firmness of the yolk and freedom from yolk defects. Egg Sizes In Philippines, sizes of eggs are classified according to its weight. For Jumbo, 70 grams or more. Extra Large 65 to 70 grams Large 60 to 65 grams Medium 55 to 60 grams Small 50 to 55 grams Bullet 45 to 50 grams Peewee 45 grams below Characteristics of fresh eggs The shell is white thick and rough. The air cell is regular. Egg white is clear, firm and thick. It sinks when placed in water. The yolk is round, firm, well centered and free from defects. Activity time! Yay! Identify and label the components of egg. You may pause the video for you to answer. A few moments later. Activity time! Why do we need to include eggs as part of our diet? Time is up! I hope you learned something new. Kung ikaw ay bago at nagustuhan mo ang aking video o napadaan ka lang, Mare yung i-click ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para ma-update ka sa aking channel. Thank you for watching!